probably wondering what all the fuss is about. Wow! Bigger bike, bigger courses, big deal, right? Ooh. Well, here's the lowdown. While Drew is busy playing a game of mountain bike catch up, guys are taking 26 inch wheels and doing stuff like this. Watch it. Got the worst of the track. Mic check, check one, two. If it ain't a check attached, that's all I'm gonna do. Mic check, check one, two. If you ain't talking dollars, I can't understand you. Man, when the boxes showed up, I, I haven't been that excited to build a bike in a really long time. They might both have two wheels, but that's where the similarities pretty much end between these kissing cousins of the bicycle world. It was a whole different world now because I've never had my own mountain bike where I had to learn to set it up to my personal preferences. And honestly, I didn't have a personal preference. I kind of had to fast track this. Different tires plus different geometries equals a very different instrument for fun. Got a mojo hand, got a black eyed bone. Keep you where you're rolling stone. It's BMX bike's rigid, it's pretty straightforward, but with the mountain bike, there's so much more that goes into it. The biggest part was like, how much PSI do you put in your front and back suspension? Definitely just gonna add a little bit and see if it helps with the pump of it. It already feels way better. When I talk about pumping, it's when you land into a transition and you press down into the transition to help you speed up and keep your flow going out of, out of the landing. If you pump like you go as hard as you do on a BMX bike, you almost go slower. Like it's almost less is more when you're working with suspension. Joyride might be the end goal here, but the path to that destination actually starts on the other side of the planet. In a sweet little slice of MTB paradise called Rotorua, New Zealand. the opportunity to go to Rotorua to watch Crankworks in the flesh. You know, it was just me going as a fan, getting to digest, and really watch the contest and kind of figure out what I need to do to be competitive with these guys and, and you know, go home and do my homework after that. Crankworks, Rotorua. Strap in, ready yourselves, the show begins. Like I've been able to win contests. Like I want to come in and do the same thing in mountain biking. I want to do it the legit way. I want to qualify in. So at the end of the day, no one can be like, oh, he, he just was able to ride these contests because he rides for Red Bull. I want them to respect the path I took to, to riding these contests with the guys. Okay, pay attention now. If you ever want to qualify for Joyride, you'll have to do this. Okay, so if you want to get yourself into Joyride, you got to come to a gold and get a wild card. But it ain't going to be easy because you got to beat all the guys that aren't already pre-qualified for the Joyride contest. Good luck. If you get past the gold level events, the next one will be Diamond. Crankwood's DJ. See where this is going? Diamonds are better than gold. Got it so far? Good. Les meilleurs riders sont déjà au G, et en plus de ça, les meilleurs des meilleurs sont déjà qualifiés pour la Joyride. Kind of like the Masters in golf. Complicated, I know. So all you gotta do in Leger is do a banger on each jump, land everything perfect, and get the most FNB points possible. Your magic number is 1150. And there you go, you just earned yourself a ticket to the sickest competition in mountain bike, Rebel Joyride.
Should we run top to bottom or just go? I just watch, watch one. Yep. That's pretty chill. We're at the top of the slope style course. Just gonna follow Connor down. First run through, it's nice to be able to follow somebody who's ridden the course. Hopefully make it down to the bottom in a couple tries and then start getting comfortable on it. I was so sketchy, but with these things, it doesn't even matter. Right now, I'm kind of trying to hold myself back because I know there's tricks that feel different on this than the BMX bike, and what I want to do is I want to do it safely. I don't want to just find my find out in the middle of one of these jumps that, oh, this is the trick that doesn't feel like it does on a BMX bike, and, and get hurt before I even get started. So, yeah, I'm just going to try to do it safely, do find a big, good mulch jump or a resi, and just kind of start ticking them off. And try to be ready for the first event. Sure, you can train on foam pits and resi ramps, but like your mom warned you about, when it comes to doing technical tricks over big jumps, if you do it long enough, you're probably gonna get hurt. 